Let's see if I can make it down to the surface of the mun. Let's speed things up here a little bit. We're going to end up in the dark side of the mun, too. So we'll have to see. how things work out here. I didn't want to end up on the dark side of the moon, but we will, uh, we'll just have to deal with that. The moon. Altitude and my velocity. I need, I want information about the moon and uh, it's, I don't think it has an atmosphere. I could be completely wrong. I am probably going to try and pull a chute and activate a chute when we get closer. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. There's the sun. I'm not even sure where Kerbal is or Kerbin is right now. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm going to have nothing to go by we're still falling pretty rapidly I'm wondering if I can deploy this chute I'm going to change the altitude at which this chute deploys and I'm going to try... Oh, man, I'm so nervous. I mean, we have a legitimate chance of at least getting back off the MUN, I think, with this rocket. I don't know. I don't know, guys. This is definitely... This is one of those things where it's not a video game anymore. Uh, this is... Um, this is serious stuff. We are slowly, boringly, falling towards the planet. <laughs> wow. And we're starting to gain speed again. All right, I deployed the chute. I don't think it's doing anything. Yeah, we're having no, no luck with that parachute I guess I should have guessed that a parachute's not gonna do anything because there's probably no atmosphere but if we stay vertical Man, in the dark, this is near impossible. Oh, we are absolutely in the dark now. I'm going to try and use what little bit of light we have from that constellation or that uh, that nexus of gas in the universe, whatever that is. To... Wow. 
Wowie, wow, wow, wow. Oh, man, that scared me. I got a keyboard shortcut. Almost there! Oh, son of a gun! Bill, are you alive? Bill! Oh, you got blown over here. Oh, son of a gun! Bill, it was not. Your life was not lost in vain. Scotty will remember the next time. Yes. MK-16 parachute crashed into the terrain and Bill Kerman was killed. I guess I could have EVA'd maybe. He could have stopped, dropped, and rolled. Okay. Well. I say we go back to the Space Center and we remember him fondly. And we think about, oh, not the hangar for the space planes, but uh, the astronaut complex. Bill Kerman, we miss you. And let's see, we have uh, Bart Gas. We must hire Bart Gas to be part of our crew. He is Jebediah, we miss you too. Let's see here. Oh, Wiley Kerman. We need a Wiley Kerman. And uh, Barsky Kerman. We will hire you. Sounds excellent. Oh, and what about Hudwin? Hudwin, you get to come too. All right. So next episode, guys, let's go ahead and let's uh, exit out here for a second. We'll check our save, see where we're at. We're still, we're on year one, day 10, five hours and 52 minutes. So those big boosters, if I do it correctly, are extremely effective on getting us out of the atmosphere and uh, to where we want to go. But the real question is, next time, can we do it? Let's find out in the next episode of the GopherCraft Great Space Race. Make sure you show some love to Gopher Boy, Piker Eyes, Basket MC, Sayu Lily, Steel Douglas. They're also doing the challenge. Links are down in the description. Show some love for those other Gopher Crafters. And if you've got any advice, other than try not to land on the dark side of the moon, uh, I, I, I've learned that one. Uh, tell me down in the comments. Click like, subscribe. And uh, share this with your friends who like space, Kerbal, cool, Scotty stuff. And we'll see you very soon.